Hello, Marty Donovan here for another Mastering the Marketplace video. In this module, we will cover how to set up a tax profile in Partner Center for the Commercial Marketplace program and discuss how to resolve common issues that may arise. Note, publishers should always consult a tax professional regarding their tax circumstances. Microsoft cannot and will not provide any type of tax advice. For this reason, in this module, we will not provide tax advice or provide guidance on how to fill out tax forms. Let's take a look at what we will cover in this module in more detail. We will cover what is a tax profile, why it's important to complete, and requirements for setting up a tax profile. We will walk through all the main steps for setting up a tax profile except filling out tax forms. We will cover common issues you may experience when setting up a tax profile and how to resolve them. Now we introduce tax profiles. In this section, we introduce tax profiles. We will cover what is a tax profile, why it's important to complete, and the requirements for setting up a tax profile. As a Microsoft partner, a tax profile is a crucial part of your account setup in Partner Center. It contains the information that Microsoft needs to fulfill tax withholding and reporting requirements. Important note, to transact or sell a solution through the commercial marketplace, a tax profile and payment profile must be submitted and validated in Partner Center. To set up a tax profile for the commercial marketplace, you need to be assigned the owner role on the publisher account. However, some other partner programs may require different program roles or partner center roles to set up the tax profile. For additional details, please refer to the documentation for the program for which you are setting up your tax profile. This section covers the steps for how to set up a tax profile for the Commercial Marketplace program. Now we will go through the steps to set up a tax profile. First, you sign into Partner Center, then you navigate to the gear icon, then you select Account Settings. Then this takes you to the Account Settings Overview page. On this page, select Payout in Tax Profile Assignment on the navigation bar. Then you select Azure Marketplace under Program and Location. Note, if you have multiple programs listed, make sure you select the correct partner program. If you have Azure Marketplace listed more than once, be sure to select the seller ID where you want to set up a tax profile. Now you select Edit. This results in a flyout appearing. In the flyout, select Create a new tax profile. You will then see a pop-up that says you will be redirected to another Microsoft site to complete your details. You should then select the Continue button on this pop-up. This will take you to a new page where you fill out your tax profile core details. Now, you're on the Tax Profile Core Details page. Now you select the appropriate options from the dropdowns that are the best fit for your business. As a reminder, publishers should always consult a tax professional regarding their tax circumstances. Microsoft cannot and will not provide any type of tax advice. For this reason, in this course, we will not provide tax advice or provide guidance on how to fill out tax reforms. Now you would select Next, which takes you to the page where you fill out your business profile details. On this page, now fill out the required and optional fields that are applicable to your business. The required fields will show in red. Then you select Next. Now select Launch Tax Form from the dropdown, and then it will load your tax form. After the tax form loads, then fill out the tax form with help from your tax professional. Next, we move to what you see after the tax form has been completed. Now. Save a copy of the tax form for your records. To ensure your tax profile is submitted, select the Finish button. After selecting Finish, you will get a message that says, Thank you for submitting tax details. Please select Complete to continue. So select Complete. Now you have submitted your tax profile for validation. On the next page, we show you how you can see the status of your tax profile. On your Payout and Tax Profile page, the tax profile for the commercial marketplace now should have a status equal pending Microsoft validation. Note, it can take up to 48 hours to validate the information in your tax profile. If the profile shows as pending Microsoft validation for more than 48 hours, then you should open a support ticket. When verification is complete, 
your tax profile status will display complete or action required. Now we show a screenshot where the profile successfully passed validation. Notice on this page, the profile status shows as complete. So the tax profile was completed successfully and validated. Before you can sell through the marketplace, you need to make sure your tax profile and payout profile status show as complete for the Azure Marketplace program. So this is an important thing to remember and make sure you get completed. Now we show a profile that didn't pass profile validation. On this screen, notice the status shows as action required. It shows as action required because the profile didn't pass profile validation. Now we transition to how to resolve common issues that arise, including this one. In this section, we will cover common account tax profile setup issues and suggestions for how to resolve them. Now we will start with the first issue. If you receive an email saying your tax profile needs to be updated or in Partner Center it says your tax profile has a status of action required, then select Edit to edit the tax profile. Then if you see a message similar to what is in the above screenshot, then you are probably running into this issue. To resolve this issue, you need to contact support via the email address provided in the message. For this issue, you don't need to open a Partner Center support ticket. Now we go to the next issue. Either you have a message like in the above screenshot saying you don't have permissions to update tax and payment details, or you don't even see the payout and tax sections on the left navigation in Partner Center. To resolve this issue, you need to be signed into Partner Center with a user account that has the owner role on the publisher account. Be sure to double check you're signed in with the appropriate account. If the owner of your publisher account has left the company, then you should submit a support request through Partner Center to get a new owner added to the publisher account. Now to the next problem. This issue can appear in different ways. For example, the tax form page just won't load, or the tax form page does not load and the user gets a pop-up error that says empty template or the page loads and says to get started choose which account you would like this form to apply to and select next please select an account you do this but then there's no account to select to resolve this issue in your browser enable third-party cookies clear the browser cache and then for best results Use one of two browsers, either use the Edge browser or use the Chrome browser. Now to close this out. After watching this module, a partner should know how to set up a tax profile and partner center for the commercial marketplace program and how to resolve common issues that may arise.